Here's a demonstration of using the TechWorks controller in uh, normal operation and diagnostic mode operation. Uh, normal mode operation, it's real easy just by looking at the status lights right there. Uh, you can see those four uh, kind of uh, bright purple uh, lights indicating that the struts are currently in hard mode. Um, one light each for each of the four struts, front left, front right, you know, oriented uh, correctly to the car. Uh, if I want to go to uh, medium mode, I simply turn the rotary dial to the next position to the right, and you can see it uh, engage all the struts and move them to, to that position, to medium mode. To go to soft mode, one more click to the right, and I'm now in soft mode on all four struts. To go back, uh, simply turn the dial the other direction, and you can go between any of those three modes, hard, medium, and soft. Um, it's important to note that those... Uh, lights are actually showing the status of the strut. If the light is that purple color, it, the strut is in hard mode. Um, so that's showing the actual internal status of the strut. Um, pretty straightforward operation there. Um, to go into diagnostic mode on the controller, uh, what you need to do is simply turn the rotary dial all the way to the right, to the fourth position. That'll clear the display to let you know it's getting ready to start the sequence. And then uh, as you can see there, it's now about to test the front left strut. So it's going to walk each strut through hard, medium, and soft. And if the strut passes, it's going to put up a green light at the end of the test. Um, there's a pause here um, because the controller uh, would also be sequencing the console lights, the sport and tour lights, uh, showing also the diagnostic results. So that's what's going on during this pause. Um, once it's finished with that, It'll highlight the next strut, as you can see there. It's now testing the front right. Uh, the white light indicates the beginning of the test, and then it walks through the strut again, hard, medium, uh, and soft. The strut passes, it goes green, and then it goes on to the next strut. So that's how the diagnostic mode works. With the LED lights, uh, since you pretty much get you know, instantaneous status feedback, even during normal operation, you'll very quickly know which strut is having a problem if one occurs. And you can, of course, run the diagnostic sequence to confirm it, but you, uh, the LED lights give you pretty quick feedback in normal operation anyway. Uh, to get out of the diagnostic mode, all you have to do is turn the dial, and at some point there, it'll interrupt the sequence, and now it went back into uh, normal operation, and all the struts are back in hard mode.